Hello, all you big, beautiful brains out there. Today, we're going to talk about how Leon Fessinger first started studying cognitive dissonance. Before we get started, take a minute to subscribe to Psy vs. Psy. Help out your friendly neighborhood psychologist while I tell you about Leon Festinger and cognitive dissonance. So, if you haven't watched our video on cognitive dissonance, make sure you go watch that first. It'll give you a better idea of what exactly cognitive dissonance is. To sum up, when the way you feel about something doesn't match the actual real world facts, that makes humans uncomfortable. And we have a variety of strategies to try to reduce that feeling of uncomfortableness. The whole cognitive dissonance process was first identified by a guy named Leon Festiger. While working at the University of Minnesota, Festinger heard about a woman making some pretty odd predictions. Even more odd, people were believing her to the point of leaving their jobs, abandoning their families, and giving away all of their money and possessions. Pretty serious stuff. The woman called herself Mrs. Keach, and she was telling people that all life on earth was going to be destroyed in a massive flood on a date that only she knew. How did she know? Wait for it. Aliens not one to be thrown off by a cult leader, doomsday flood, or alien predictions, Leon Festinger actually introduced himself to people following Mrs. Keach and learned more about their world. When the world didn't end on the date Mrs. Keach said it would, instead of being mad and abandoning their beliefs, many of the followers doubled down they went out and started trying to convince others of the truth of their belief. And even though the alien flood never happened, the followers were even more convinced that Mrs. Keach was telling the truth. Festinger used the example of Mrs. Keach followers in some of his earliest works establishing cognitive dissonance. And the example couldn't be clearer. The followers had a deep belief or opinion that Mrs. Keach had been spoken to by aliens. They truly believed the flood she predicted was going to happen. They believed it so much that they were willing to give up their loved ones and everything they owned so that they could join her in the alien spaceship and escape the impending doom on Earth. When the facts were being presented directly conflicted with their belief system, that created cognitive dissonance. The followers reacted in a predictable way to try to overcome that dissonance, doubling down and using a strategy that we'll talk about in a later video. If you're interested in knowing more about this whole story, I highly recommend Festinger's book, When Prophecy Fails that gives way more insight into exactly how he studied Mrs. Keach followers and the kind of interactions and data that he gathered. If you love Festinger, cognitive dissonance, aliens, or if you just want to learn more about the science of psychology, make sure you subscribe to Psy vs. Psy so you can get all of our other videos. Until next time, keep thinking, and I'll see y'all later. Bye! just in case.